our usual stadium two. Oh, so we got, so this will be a chance for cannon shenanigans. We got Ganon up against the Zelda. You say, but it looks like my match will probably be called up here in a second. Still, so. always good to get in, uh, get in whatever commentary you can. Oh, oh wait, yeah, definitely. Ben working, with, ben working with the Joker. I thought for sure he was gonna go. He was gonna uh, stick with Zelda, but so Gray like Ben is, dry, is trying his hat in the Joker challenge. I'm assuming. <laughs> so this should be very interesting. Gray Road growing with the Ganon. I had a feeling he was going to use this outfit, too. I, I, I saw it coming. So I'm assuming Grey Road is uh, Sosa, correct? As, no. far, as far as I'm aware, that was his old tag, I think? No, no, no that's, not, that's not Sosa. Okay, okay. The new person. All right. So right now, game one starting here on Pokemon Stadium 2. Uh, I don't really know too much about Joker's advantage state or disadvantage, like what he wants to do, how he wants to get out and everything. But, ooh, this Ganon is Really putting a hurry right. on Joker. I can see Vin uh, possibly switching off, off of Joker right now. I say that right now the biggest weakness that I have noticed from uh, the bit of like combo guides and videos is Joker's uh, recovery without without his uh, persona. Right, without Arsene, it's it's very tricky because like that the gimp if your gimp game is strong, then then you pretty much have like one of the one of the easier ways to take out Joker. <laughs> Exactly. Not to say that uh, Joker's recovery is bad without Arsene. It's really good, yeah, honestly. It, it gets it, it gets really far. But it's just it's just more or less he falls in that gimpable factor, but not as bad like Mac or Crom or Cloud in that right. sense. And then while he does have it, it's among the highest reachers in, in the game. It's looking like it is actually it's right. higher than Inkling, straight from the ground up. Oh man. It's like, I want to say, probably like maybe two, three units higher if I'm using like the training mode, like grid, as like the bases. But anyway, right Ooh. now, putting. Right. My boy Rose said he put it on the Doc right. Martins on his ass. <laughs> right now, uh, Gray Rose doing pretty well, pressuring, pressuring this Joker, pressuring Vin. I think that's actually the, kind of the same thing that you want to do. It's kind of almost like Sheik where Sheik is very weak when you're putting the pressure on her and staying close in her face. The only small difference is mainly frame data where she can easily, you know, fight her way out. But training is not in her favor. Honestly, I would definitely like to see more uses of the AHA. Or, well, well right now, it doesn't even matter. Arsen said, forget that noise, boy. Right, still anybody's game, especially as long as Arson is out here. Ooh, nice command grab. Let's see how he's gonna handle this right now. And Ooh, catching him. Is that gonna kill? Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, Joker up only invincible on startup, but not on the finish. And like once he reaches the near height of the jump, you can actually get him. Yep, and then not only that, oh that is Slosa then. Oh, Sosa. Uh, yeah. I thought you meant Sosa. No, 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 no. I said Sosa. <laughs> My bad. I also have the tendency to mumble. But, uh, but yeah, also with uh, with Arson, he has, like, crazy amount of lag from the LP. But as I called it, he's uh, he's going to uh, Zelda, so we'll see how this happens. And with that, Ben disqualifies himself from the potential free ride. <laughs> Not sure if he... Was going in, right. So what's figures going on with? Pride. Right, he figures, uh, uh, like tournament pride, get this win, uh, getting these wins, a lot more important than trying to, like, risk your and uh, risking your bracket for the luxurious prize of a free trip of uh, a free admission <coughs> to level up. Very true. Now, what is this Joker challenge going on? Is something I missed out. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
if you get your Joker as far, uh, the furthest Joker that makes it to bracket, bracket uh, wins that free trip to level up. So, okay. So right now, who's all playing Joker? I saw Dirtle playing him. Yeah, Dirtle, Zero.exe. The Among the Few, Just Good was playing him. So it means I'm going to have to yeah. run through a lot of Jokers then. All right. But anyway, back to this match, game two here on Battlefield. We uh, got a little sidetracked with folks, so I apologize for that. But right now, Grey Road is uh, down a stock with yeah. Ben putting ben on. doing the usual Ben things. Oh, but Miss. Wow. Blitz what? With Nary's <laughs> love. I mean, with uh, Fiora's win. win. win yeah. Wow. That didn't reach. That's crazy. Right now, getting like, this combo like, game going with a couple of Right. We've been seeing so many uh, recoveries, especially from the Jokers. Like, anytime we see a whip recovery like that, it's just shocking everybody right now. Yep, that was a nice auto shoot option right there. Neighbors Love actually having invincibility like it did in Smash 4. Scoop. At the startup. Ooh. And that Phantom Knight actually hitting below the ledge. They're not going to do it just yet. And still one of them heavy boys. Yep. Right now, Vin is actually doing pretty well uh, staying outside of Ganon's burst range because the only thing really Ganon can do is do approach it. with Nair, uh, side B if he's going to bait that out, wizard kick, everything. But... The one thing you don't want to do is definitely hey, approach the Ganon. Let's go with the Ganon door chant. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to approach the Ganon because in a in a power battle, you're losing that 100%. Right. So, ooh. Ooh, almost getting in that two frame right there. Still, you got to respect uh, Grey Row for going for that option. Yep. Honestly, right now, <laughs> in yeah, regards to Ganondor, Ben is definitely at that percent. Ooh, catching him with the flame choke right, right there. And not bad, not bad. And unfortunately, uh, Phantom and Dinsfire among the one the projectiles in uh, Zelda's arsenal that has been uh, nerfed at least uh, at least as far as damage against shields go. Yeah, everybody, everybody that has a projectile right. has definitely received a significant nerf. I don't think it really hurts or bothers Zelda that much. There are other characters right. who really suffer it way more. Um, in the case of like Samus and Mewtwo, I personally think they suffer it the most out of everybody. And Snake but as Mewtwo, well. Did you see the buffs he got? Yeah, yeah. Right. That, I mean, it compensates for it. Right. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> definitely don't get me wrong. It definitely compensates Ooh, that. Ooh, catching and that will do it. Nice snipe by Ben. See, we're going to go to game three right now. Honestly, this whole entire game was nothing more than footsies. Uh, Grey Roll was just trying to figure out a way to get in on Ben without really putting himself at a horrible disadvantage. Excuse me, guys. <coughs> we're going back to Battlefield now. Yep. I would like to see Grey Road to at least be in Vin's face a little bit more instead of like keeping his distance. Because right, when you're like keeping his distance, that's right. you're basically falling to Vin's game plan. Right, but that's usually the result when the miniature in Vin's face is that Neri's love for your troubles. Yep, and he'll use that a, a bit amount, you know, that much out of shield oh. or possibly with Nair, but I definitely see Neri's love coming out of shield a lot more. Good weight chilling on the ledge, not allowing the Phantom Knight to uh, the turn right there. Right now, trying to catch him in the air. Nice up there right there. Ooh, good shielding all the heads. Out. Good, yeah, good. good. Out. Honestly, Vin has been using that as slightly as an approach tool due to the fact that it has invincibility. So, I mean, I don't blame him. Why not? That was a great way to capitalize. But right now, Grey Rose uh, in a pretty bad spot. I actually thought the sword was going to hit him right there. Try to get off ledge. Not, not the full charge. Way over that Phantom Knight. Looking like Snake out here, just setting up, just setting up mortar C4, but catching the roll we Ooh, a little late, a little late, oh, yeah. but I had the right idea. 
Right now, Sosa oh, is just, is catching. Ooh, oh, catching right. his jump. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, Schwartzwiller was in no man's land after that air dodge. Ooh, flame choke, let's go. I think if Grey Road just waited a little bit more instead of burning his double jump with the air dodge, I think he definitely could have came back to the ledge, but that was a great read from Ben and capitalizing on that moment as well. Can't even punch out Ricardo. Feels bad, man. Ooh, putting the F2 on his ass. Right now, we're just waiting. Oh, it was the hardest read, bro. My man was going right, on. If that My man put it all on black. Hit, that probably would have brought the house down, even if he loses the game. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's going to be punished. Honestly, right now, all Grey uh, Rose is really doing is trying to stay in Ben's face, but it's not. He's doing it in, in slightly wrong ways, though, or at least the way he's going about it. And he's also trying to chase him in the air, but right now he's putting on decent percentage right here. So we're going to see how it plays out. Right now, this is where it gets really scary is if you're fighting against a Ganon because you really don't want the Ganon to land any more hits. Especially, like, just right. a Nair alone is just terrifying on its own. Oops. That night going to do it? Nope. Kept the double jump. Good job. Oh, but That's going to take the stock away. Yeah. Yep. Nothing Ganon can really do with a poor recovery like that. Can't even really mix up his recovery either as well. And honestly, that's how Ben's been really seeing out the a good portion of his stocks right there, just edge guarding with Nehru's love. Right now, a bit of footsies going on. Oh. Like, every time uh, Ben just gets those aerials in, like, I feel the pain for for anybody. What do you think uh, Grey Road would need to do just to come back and possibly make this a close game and maybe take the set? Yeah, it's interesting, as you said, he's looking for that sweet spot to where he's in to where he's in Vince's face, but at the same time, I think he just respected uh, Ricardo a little too much. But yeah, it's sometimes, just like, what can he really do to try to get through to uh, get through to Ricardo?